tonight I'm at Royal Biryani House and I'm taking on a massive biryani. Good morning guys. It's a wet one today in Houston. I guess that's what I get for waking up early. I'm up early, got things to do today and look what happens. Look at this. So now I'm about to have a free shower because the gym is all the way over there. This is gonna suck. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, procrastinating. I tried to park as close as I can to the gym. I'm still gonna get drenched. But it's all right, let's do this. It's leg day. So I made it into the gym with my sneakers unscathed. You know that's really all I cared about. I love my sneakers. But nothing like some squats and some hemi curls to wake you up on a rainy day and prepare you for a killer food challenge. Yep, it's a wet one. I can't even hear myself talking. We're off to Biryani House in Katy. So, got my flippers, I got my snorkel. Let's do this. As I got driving, it got more and more torrential. Then I hit the highway, and then all of a sudden, blue skies. but that just meant humidity went through the roof. Oh well, we're here now, time to smash some Indian food. All right guys, we have made it. We're at Biryani House. Looks good, smells good, but it's still raining. So let's go inside, smash some biryani. Peace. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. Tonight I'm at Royal Biryani House and I'm taking on a massive biryani. I've got a mixture of different meats, sauces, naan bread, even some vegetables. Guys, I got the list here of all the goodies. I'll make sure I tag it in the video below. But wish me luck, guys. I've got 30 minutes. Let's do this. Three, two, one, let's go. So as I got started, I made three observations. One, what a mountain of rice I had in front of me. Two, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this in 30 minutes, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. And three, I couldn't pronounce one of the dishes that was in this biryani. But never fear, the owner was kind enough to give me the list of what was in front of me. So I got stuck into the mountain of rice, shoveling as fast as I could, because I knew this was gonna be a challenge in itself. Excuse me. The biryani rice was actually quite delicious. White rice, yellow rice, some of it had carrot and onion through it. Actually really, really good. But man, this was a lot of rice. As I got started on the Bezwada chicken, I realized I needed some strategy. I had to do one mouthful of chicken and then a couple of mouthfuls of rice. Then I started on the paneer tikka. Paneer is delicious. It's kind of like cheese, but cheese and rice, man, that was dense. When I got into the Alvacharu chicken, I realized I needed some sauce. Man, some of these dipping sauces were absolutely delicious, but I couldn't tell you what ingredients were in them. One of them was a bit of a yogurt base, and the other one was more clear, but really sweet. They were going down really well because the sauces on the chicken was really dense. I could see in one corner of the tray, I had a very large portion of chicken tandoori, and I figured I'd probably like that one the best. 
So I moved on to the gongura and the chicken dung and started getting into the naan bread. Now let me tell you, this is where it all hit me. Don't get me wrong, it was really delicious, but the mixture, naan bread, rice, vegetables, and the really dense sauces on this tray, I was getting really full, but I was getting really thirsty. I had noticed I started drinking way too much. So I started eating the vegetables to try and break up the flavor in my mouth. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of vegetables. And then I resorted to water. Even the delicious mango lassi drink didn't help me. But I kept battling and onto the chicken tandoori. Now I was starting to get tired. The food coma was real. So I started just getting the spoon and shoveling rice, trying to mix as much flavor as I could with sauce and vegetables and the onions. But time was getting away and I couldn't chew any faster. I think that last piece of naan bread really tipped me over the edge. I was almost at my capacity, but more than anything, I had big flavor fatigue. This platter was a bunch of flavors I had never had before, so I think it was an overload for my taste buds. Thirty minutes hit and I was done. I couldn't fit another thing in, but I was pretty impressed with how much I managed to finish. I only left one piece of chicken, a couple of bits of paneer, and a couple of handfuls of rice. Let's be real, there's half a mountain right there. But I tried, guys. I really enjoyed my Indian cuisine. Thanks for having me, Biryani House, and I'll see you on the next one. I didn't make it. All right. Uh, there you have it, guys. I tried. I tried. A little bit left. One chicken wing, two bits of pinia and a bit of rice. I gave it my best shot. Oh man, that was a lot of food. Uh, I'm happy. Oh yeah. All right, there you have it guys. Jay Webby getting his ass picked by a biryani. That thing was huge. But um, at least the weather's cleared up a bit. Going home for a big sleep. I'll catch you on the next one.